Hello, this is Calvin. So, uh, a lot of people asking question about why I'm doing this design, uh, quad bearing carbon fiber mount design. So first, the original mount, it's I think it's aluminum. I believe it's aluminum. And then the weight is about like 300, 300 night grams. And this thing is using three bearing. And no matter what kind of bearing I try, it always have a movement on the on the bat, like on the move on like this. It's I think it's the Y. Oh no, not not the Y. It's the X and the Z. The Z movement, the X movement. So it will move this way. No matter what kind of bearing, what kind of brand bearing that I try on this bat, it always have a little bit. And even though I get the best bearing on the market, um, the Mitsumi bearing from Japan, it still have a little bit movement. So I come up with the idea that using quad bearing, and I know a lot of people are having an argument about the quad bearing design versus the, 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 the tri bearing design. Uh, why Prusa original, they don't just make quad bearing design and then they uh, bring up a very interesting point. Like uh, if you do, if you do um, tri bearing, then you can reduce the, the chance that the rule that get into the bearing um, is less changed. The, uh, if the tolerance is not good, it less chance that the, uh, the roll will bend. But here is my question. If, 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 the, if, if the tolerance will, uh, if the tolerance is not good enough and then it will causing the, the roll to bend, then this is also two bearing on this side. And then if two of them have a bad tolerance, then um, the roll when you put into, it will bend anyway. So, this is actually a same scenario between this one and this one. And um, I think this is not an excuse to stop exploring a new design. That's why um, I just go ahead and then make this design. And then it turned out actually really good. And I used the Mizumi bearing on this on this part. And also the weight on this is... 203 it's actually like 100 grams lighter and this is a fix this is a six millimeter carbon fiber uh whole piece carbon fiber cutout and then also because the the carbon fiber if we want to put the screws on that's a problem we have to use press nut use press nut on the on the whole carbon fiber board so i make it easy especially for the bearing mount i I have a sink hole in here and I put all the uh, press nut inside and then this is all for the bearing mount in here and this is for for a bit this side this is for uh, the belt the belt tension mount and then for the heat bed mount I also do the same thing so when you see it is like it's all flat inside and then the other things that I upgrade for uh, for this part is the sink hole in here. I make a little bit sink hole in here. So when you put a stand off, that's that's the that's the experience from here. And this is like nothing. So when when you're trying to install the heat bed, you put the plus nut in here, and you have to like very very careful to put the heat bed up of it, and then you put the screws in. And anything any movement, if you like accidentally like move it. Uh, if one of the the, the, the standoffs go away, then you have to take it out and then you have to put it back. So I make it easy. I put a little bit of sink hose to let all the standoff can can be secure and then um, keep in the positions to make it easy to install heat bed. And I mean, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to leave me any comments and then uh, I will try my best to answer. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the um, for the question that you guys bring up, and then um, I will keep seeing. Um, is there like any other things that I can improve on my printer? I will share with you guys. Thank you.